Hello everyone, Adam here again from Vector3D and we're at TZT360 or TZT2021 depending on who you ask and we're back at the E3D booth again this time with Josh to talk about something less well known but also still pretty cool. So stay tuned to find out more. Okay, so Joshua, can you start by just telling me like who you are, what you do at E3D? And I think people know what E3D does, so just what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, no, I think everyone's aware of what E3D does at this, at this point, especially after we dropped the, the rapid change bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Josh, I'm one of the co-founders of E3D, so I've been coming to this trade show for like, coming on 10 years now, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's been a hell of a ride. Um, so yeah, Sanjay, Dave and I, we, we run the company. Um, and yeah, I originally started out as one of the engineers um, and now I'm kind of in management, so they keep me safely away from the engineering workshop. Okay, so obviously your rapid change Revo has been the big headliner at this show, but it looks like we've got something that's sort of snuck in the back a little bit about another announcement, a new nozzle. Yeah, absolutely. You'd be totally forgiven for missing it. These tiny little nozzles, um, yeah, they don't, they don't look like much, but wow, do they, do they pack a punch? They're actually a really exciting a, a announcement that we're bringing out TCT as well. So these guys are a replacement. They're an upgrade from our Nozzle X. We're calling it Obsidian. They're better in basically every single way. And I, I can honestly say they're the best nozzles that will hit the market. They'll, they'll be the best thing out there. Let me explain. So these guys, are, they're, copper, they're a copper alloy. So rather than being a stainless or a steel material, they have a much higher thermal conductivity, which means that you can just drop in and replace them with brass, which is huge. Instead of having a, um, a, a jewel as the, as the hardened tip, these guys use a, a hardened steel tip. And the hardened steel tip means that we can shape it as we want. So we've got internally excellent flow properties. So the, the material, the, the plastic, as it melts, it doesn't have to go around any sharp corners and it's got really nice flow. It's then coated with a special, what we call E3 DLC, so a, a diamond light coating, and on top of which it's also got a non-stick coating. So this has all of the latest technology, all of our latest coatings on it, and you cannot wear this nozzle. It doesn't wear, and plastic like, is very, very reticent to stick to the external surface. When Nozzle X came out, I thought that was gonna be end game nozzle, but it's incredible to see that you found a way to even top that. So this, this diamond light coating on the top, what, what does kind of diamond light mean? And you've got an E3D special source in that as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I can't say too much about it other than to say that we've worked, with our, we've worked with a partner to develop a really special coating that's one layer on top of another on top of another, and they blend from the hardness through to the non-stick. So I can't, I can't go into too much more detail, but this thing will never wear. We're insane for releasing you know, a nozzle that simply never needs to be replaced. That seems like an interesting business model for a company that sells nozzles to sell one that doesn't need replaced. But from a user point of view, that's still pretty cool to see. Yeah, that's always been our way. We've never, we've never sold products that, that, that stop working. You know, they've always been designed for reliability, robustness, and this is absolutely no different. That's good to hear. So I can see these nozzles you've got in front of me. These are more of the, well, as of this week, old style nozzles where, with your M6 thread. Is this same thing going to be available for the Revo? Absolutely. So Obsidian is going to be available for everything that we sell. So it's going to be available for, for Revo. We're going to have every, everything that we release in the future. And um, we're working with a few OEMs and they will be also Obsidian nozzles. So yeah, don't, don't worry. It's going to be available for any type of printer that you have. You can tell the difference because they're covered in unicorns and rainbows. If you look here and you check them in the light, they have this amazing kind of iridescence. It's really cool. Unicorns, rainbows, obsidian. <laughs> So that's great to hear. You've got an amazing upcoming product. What can we expect in terms of release date, availability, and pricing? So the product is, is developed, it's tested. Um, we're in the manufacturing stage at the moment, so we anticipate to launch it by the end of the year. We hope for it to be on sale by then. In terms of pricing, you know, as with, as with all of our stuff, reasonably priced, you can expect this. Well, these will retail about the same price as, um, as Nozzle X currently does. Um, might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less. We're, we're fine tuning that at the moment. Wonderful. Well, it's great to hear yet another announcement from E3D. So thank you very much, Josh, for spending time to talk to me today. Hope you enjoy the rest no, of the show. Thank you very much. You too. Cheers, guys.